Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to this banger of an episode Don't forget to keep your hashtags condemn this on the ready I'm gonna explain why The issue of grooming gangs is a very serious issue and it's been plaguing this country for quite some time in different aspects but for the last decade the far right has hijacked this issue and turned it into a Muslim problem. This is the truth. We want justice for the victims of Muslim grooming gangs in our own country. But many Muslims would have come into this mosque and prayed that they walked straight out of the mosque and then they'd gone took turns with their sexual slave. <laughs> and as always some Uncle Toms feel the need to join in just so they can fit in with the crowd and of course for legal reasons I have distorted their faces. Hmm. That's actually quite an improvement to how they normally look. So the UK based independent newspaper sought to get a report from the Home Office which initially said that it's against the public interest. I don't know why and frankly when I explain some of the stuff that was in the report maybe you'll be able to determine why. So a petition took place and eventually they caved and they have published the report. Here are some key findings of the report. Number one, no one community is responsible for this problem. Number two, there has been an overrepresentation of Asian and black offenders. That these atrocities were carried out by Pakistani Muslims. And number three, previous data isn't exactly accurate because of the mass bias it has and that majority of the offenders were white. By Pakistani Muslims. From Muslim grooming gangs in our own country. Now this has come as a massive blow to people like Tommy Robinson. There's been grooming, grooming gangs, Muslim grooming gangs targeting young English girls in these communities. Let's see what Tommy Robinson is up to nowadays. Well that's great, he's getting banned from football matches for punching people in the face. This is your representative. Jada Franson says Golding would punch and kick her and throw things at her. That's where the fear came in because I thought I'm going to end up dead. This is the truth. Paul would lock you in the house until they came back. Is that true? Yeah. This is the truth. But because of cognitive dissonance, they're going to come up with some sort of excuse. But the genuine that are there, they will be like, you know what? Enough is enough. We're not going to be partisan to this hate filled mentality. Now here's the main point yeah. Now Muslims have been asked for a number of decades now to condemn things left right and center mate. But seen as in the last couple of weeks we've had two main revelations. Number one majority of the grooming gangs tend to be white offenders and number two the exposition of war crimes by western nations such as Australia and the United Kingdom. To the people of Afghanistan on behalf of the Australian Defence Force, I sincerely and unreservedly apologise. War crimes that have taken place in Iraq, yeah, which has seen up to a million deaths and casualties and disabilities, frankly. Now it's time that we get this condemnations from you people. The far right, the conservatives, whatever label you want to give it, even if you're on the right. You got a problem with Islam, now we want you to condemn grooming gangs, we want you to condemn the war crimes that have taken place. Enough is enough yeah, no more scapegoat in Islam so you can meet your own political and economical objectives. So I've got a pinned tweet on my Twitter page, I want you guys to go there and retweet that and I want you to spread this because it's important guys, we should not ignore news coverage and footage like this because it's these issues that are being used to taint Islam. All right guys let's leave it there until next time. Assalamu alaikum.